baby was slowly dying, and I couldn't do nothing to save him. Holding back tears, Laura Manriquez recounts the day her 25-year-old son Gilbert Vasquez was hit by a car as he was crossing the street near 16th and Mitchell on Milwaukee's south side. The person who hit my son, my baby, my Gilbert, never stayed to render help. The driver responsible, 32-year-old Luis Perez, left the scene after the crash last May. And according to prosecutors, he destroyed the car after he learned Vasquez had died. Perez eventually turned himself in and pleaded guilty to hit and run involving death. I wanted to stop, but I did it. At his sentencing Wednesday, he told the judge he drove off because he was scared and apologized to the victim's family. I wish I could bring him back. He didn't deserve to die like that. I was just trying to go back home. It was an accident. I see your action is that you should have never been on the street in the first place because you didn't have a valid license. Perez faced a maximum sentence of 25 years in prison. But because of his guilty plea, the judge ordered he serve a five-year prison term with four years of extended supervision instead. It was not the punishment Laura Manriquez wanted to hear. You can never rejoice over another person's sadness. But says she hopes a lesson is learned by his wrongdoing. But my hopes are is that this young man will correct his behavior so that when he comes out, he'll be an asset to the community as my son was and not a burden. In Milwaukee, Angelica Duria, Fox 6 News.